The Aviva Premiership may be all boast over for this year, for yet another year, but that doesn't mean the teams will stop playing out the action, like today's request with the London Wasps up against Saracens. Hello everyone and welcome along to Complex Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2. And the one-off one of series where you get to pick what you want to see out there on the rugby field. And as I was saying, the season may be soon coming to a close, but there is still a truckload of requests involving these teams to come. For you to all watch out through the off-season up there in the Northern Hemisphere. Today, though, is a request for Matthew Savilstones. Thank you for your request, Matthew. And I hope you enjoy the matchup that is about to proceed. Of course, as requested, Tom Linty will be taking a spot in the team, but as a natural hooker, he will be playing as hooker in the front row. He is accompanied, of course, by the typical Wasps team around him. And so far in the competition, they're going so well in the series. I mean, they've got two wins and a loss so far from their three matches. And going by what some other teams have, that's fairly good. Of course, rivals, they will be Saracens. One of the best teams going around in the Aviva Premiership. Their record so far is looking pretty good. As you'd expect, a proper popular side as well with six matches. Four of them are wins and they have one loss and one draw to go with that as well. So a good record from a good team. And they'll have their work cut out between these two sides. Saracens, of course, favourites, you would imagine, going into today's match. Will be Saracens in their home strip, the red and black as per usual for them. And it will be the London Wasps in there, yellow and black. Predominantly yellow though as we are underway with Farrell, he kicks off. And this matchup into action through Wade already. A great start here from the Wasps. It's only just kicked off and they've already got a line break to their name but it's turned over brilliantly from Berger. And look at this from Brits. He's through the massive gap and it takes a great tackle from Tommy Bell at the back to put him down. It's Saracen's hot on attack here. The match has hardly got underway as Willie Buller goes to Stevens in the front row. Now Saracen's look to the left. Good pass going wide from Barrett. Looking for Strittle. And it's a good tackle on Strittle going to ground backwards as well. Saracen's attacking early through Wigglesworth. Gives it up for Barrett. And this, oh, this is injury. Shoulder injury to Barrett. Well, that's going to help out the Wasps big time. He is off and Wiles is on. Oh, that is a dream start for the Wasps. Quite, quite possibly a disastrous start for Saracens. And that will Crouch. be number 16. Touch. Of course, numbers never always right in those Six. substitute benches. But we will pack down for a Saracen scrum. Right on the 22. As well as Ralph puts in. And at the back. Waiting for us. There's Funny Puller. And I'll run it out. Nice pass. And Farrell gets smashed. And it goes back to Funny Puller. They're going to drive on the back of him, but it goes nowhere. Now they look to use the right side, the open side. And it's a good half break. Keeping it going nicely through to Ashton. Who puts it to the skies, chasing us, Tompkins! But Bell saves the day. Tompkins was really raging in for that one, and Wiles was involved there as well. Just about getting used to the substituted player on the field. As a big kick downfield, it goes to absolutely no one from Good. And eventually picked up at the back from Alex Good, the other Good. Two Goods in the field today. Now they come wide for Footy Puller, going outside to Tompkins. Breaks through the tackle of Bundell. Can be alive, Saracens. It's Neil Wiles. And he goes to ground. Release. It's all been Saracens in this first spell so far. Farrell runs into some hard defense from Swainston. As the Wasps are still on the back foot. Coming off the back is Brown. Giving it to Berger. The flank is involved. Release. Keeping it with him themselves. Stevens will pass wide. Wigglesworth. Great ball out wide for Ashton. Ashton's going for the posts. Oh, he's hit the upright, and Simpson gets hammered back Crouch. into the end Crouch. goal. It is a five-meter scrum for Saracens. Six. What a play from Ashton. Of course, probably worked out better than he would have wished. But the drop goal hitting the upright, and now a five-meter scrum for Saracens. Wigglesworth, where's he going to go? He goes to the right. It's a grubber kick through. Brilliantly for Tompkins. Oh, what a word of try. That is outstanding from Ashton. 
That is one of the greatest tries. Chris Ashton scores it. But take a look at this from Wiles. He's only been on the field. It was that Tompkins. It was Tompkins that threaded that little kick through. And a poor effort from Simpson. This is absolute class from Tompkins. The little grubber across field. And Ashton runs onto it perfectly as you could wish for. And the first try of the match finally goes away of Saracens. They've tapped away for quite a long time. But a piece of magic from Tompkins and Ashton. Set it up and Farrell nails the kick. That is a special piece of rugby from the Saracen side. And we just don't see enough of those sorts of tries. Something special as it will be kicked off from the Wasps again. They go to the left side and it's gone quite high and comes down eventually. Good tackle on Brown. Release. And the Wasps are going to slowly get this back up. And they do. And they finally have some ball. It's inside Saracen's half, at least nearly the 22. There's Lawsbury, gives it back, Swainston opening up for Bell, good pass out to Wade, he's the money man, oh but an intercept and Saracens get it back, oh now it's Haskell, he's got it back as they come wide for Vandell, he slips through one, a good, uh, good play too, getting away from Hargreaves, but it looks like it could be coming back on the Saracen side, it does, and it is Hargreaves again, giving it to Farrell, Keeping it open Release. here, right in midfield for Saracens. Wigglesworth goes for a bit of a run himself, have to right. pop it up to Berger, and that is a forward pass. Release. And that is just what Wasps needed, a forward pass from Berger. There it was, it was a shocker too. As obvious Perch. as you'd like, Cut. and that gives them the ball. See. And Simpson will be hoping to launch something here for his back line. Or will they use the number eight? They use Johnson instead. He goes away for Wade. Pops around nicely for Marcy. And he goes to ground. That's a good tackle too. On the outside centre. Back it comes. Mullen. Oh, good, great run here from the prop. Now he looks out wide for Palmer. Palmer takes the tackle. Got it to Bell. Bell's running in. He's still got Bundell. Bundell goes through one. Can't get through the second. Good tackle from the fullback. And that is good there. Fantastic work. Here's Wigglesworth, Elk outside for Ashton who gets smashed. That was as big a play as a book. Read it as easy as you like as a high shot. Comes into Farrell just as he got the kick away. Simpson guilty for that one. And it really gives, it's just a massive let off here for Saracens. They'll thump it upfield with just a couple of minutes to go. And it really is a let off. That high shot from Simpson won't please anyone in a wasp jumper tonight. Brits will throw in, he goes to the back. Oh, that's turned over. And it's thrown out to Bell. First receiver. The inside center. Great play as Wade goes straight through a gap. He's looking to his outside. Should have kicked more for Marcy on the wing. But it's eventually come back as it's away. Oh, that is a great piece of defense. Could be a try. It's still running it out here. Berger. Oh, it's finally gone into touch. That was remarkable play from Saracens. Almost crafted some absolute rubbish of play. Unbelievable stuff. And we'll head to the break at half time. Well, Saracens leading this one just by 7 to 0 with one absolute magic try. But that we'll save for later. The half time stats. There's still a match going on here. 7 to 0. Only the scoreline. And there's the Saracen side with a big advantage when it comes to possession. Almost 80-20, and that single-handedly, as well as keeping the London Wasps out of this match. Territory 66-34. That's not too bad, considering they haven't had much ball. They've definitely done a good job on defence so far against Saracens. Line breaks. Well, the Wasps, the Wasps take that 2-1, to one, which is quite surprising, considering the trials from the kick. That's probably accurate enough the high tackle well it let off a lot of pressure and the scrums of course the injury 
to Barrow, full of hurt. Saracens quite badly and disrupted their back line with Wales coming in at inside centre. Have they changed anything around? It didn't look like it. And Saracens will just, Saracens will just run with Wales in the number 12 jumper. But can the little London Wasps get themselves back in this match? They have 40 minutes and they have to do something very quickly. But once again, we go back to the fact that they need more ball. Can they get it? Can it be delivered to this Wasp side? Stick around and stay tuned. One off, one off returns for the second half. Saracens leading 7 0 at half time. Well, the fly half here for the Wasps isn't going too well. That is good. Of course, not really the best option. They have a bit of trouble here, the Wasps, in that position. It's good, kicks off, and it's pretty much straight down the middle. And it's Wiles who takes it and giving it to Brits. Nice run here, brilliant run straight to the middle from Brown. He looks to his left, it's there for Tompkins again, opting for the kick. Surely this will, no, it's not going to. And it has to be played down and forced dead from Wade. That is a perfect kick from Tompkins. He is really having the game of his life out there at the moment, Tompkins. Good, kicks off to straight down the middle. Remarkable stuff from the fly half. And now it's Saracens attacking back. Oh, intercepted from Haskell. Oh, and he looked to his man on the outside. Could have been something special there. Intercept, not taking the chance. Of course, the line out for Wasps has been good. As Brits looks to throw in again, they did steal one just before the break as Burger takes this one at the back. Saracens set up a drive, but going nowhere. They look back for Brown. He looks out to the back line. Stevens, big pass from the big man. It's gone a bit to cake here as they have to retreat backfield and set it up again for Saracens. It's there for Strittle. And he goes driving up Release. the middle. Stall ball for Saracens. So it's not quite working how they would have liked here for the Wasps and that high tackle does not help. This is a chance here if Farrell wants it to add three with half an hour to go. But he doesn't want it. Well, I'm quite surprised there. Very surprised, in fact. He's gone for touch instead. And he puts a nice kick away. Just 10 out from the Wasps line. Brits will have the throw. It's been the brightest part of the Wasps match so far. But it's Saracens who win it easily. Farrell opens it up. Goes wide. Oh, this is big trouble out here. It's Ashton again. Going for the line, can't get away. And it will be turned over. Wasps have a chance here. Bell, Palmer, Swainston, he's just gonna kick it. The big prop relieves the pressure. It's gone away for Strittle. He kicks over the top and good easily claims that one. And they'll take the mark. But what are their options here? Really good, oh, he's tapped it. Well, that's surprising, Haskell. Through the middle he goes, finds Bell who goes wide and is Massey again trying to drive his way through the defence. But they've got no other option here, do they? Really, the Wasps as they go wide. Good's all alone out there, he's still got Wade. Oh, Wade's hammered. Oh, that was just sitting duck there for Wade. Not the beast play from Good at all. And they really have to hope and pray they can turn this line out over here. Saracens lead by seven. It's been a messy match. Oh, and they do it too. Brilliant work. Good. Are they going to keep running this? It looks like they are. They go one for Van Nel. Oh, and he's bundled into touch again. It's just not working here at all. The Wasps can't get anything going. And Saracens lead of just seven. Well, it looks like it's going to be enough here with 19 to go. Brits again, not having his best day in the office. Throws in. Oh, another turnover. Simpson. Oh, and a bell off. Oh, that's knocked on again. And that just really sums up the day for the Wasps. And it's advantage, advantage to Saracens. Advantage over. And Stevens will run it out. A big hit coming in there from Simpson. Release. But Saracens still keep hold of the ball through Burger. Back inside they go. Oh, that is a beautiful offload. Now they come wide. It's there for Tompkins. Looks for three. He's got it as well. Well, man of the match today is Tompkins been 
He's been slicing the line. He made that magical play, and when nothing was on, he just, well, calmly slots a drop goal. He gives his side a 10-point lead, which really, at this stage of the game, looks unbeatable. Good kicks off. It's a flat one, and it goes straight away. Oh, to a big hit on Furipula. Here's Wigglesworth trying to go it himself. Release. It's hammered in defence. Another short run. Oh, that is a good pass though. And that's given Borthwick a chance. He gives it off to Berger. Still breaking the way. Berger. An unbelievable run from the open side flanker. It's all Saracens. Wasps have got nothing. As that's another short run coming of from Brits. It's still ball for Saracens. Oh, an advantage for an offside. Release. And that really just puts this game to rest. The penalty for offside. There's been nothing to play for here for the London Wasps at all. They've been their own worst enemy, and that was Jones. Of course, what all good open side flankers do. Scurrying for the ball. But it gives the Saracens the line out. Just outside the 22 as well. Of course, it has been the weakest point of Saracens play. They've turned over quite a number so far. Brits has been pretty poor. Oh, and add another one to the list. Simpson. Oh, and a good. Why aren't they kicking more often here? The London Wasps. Bell. Jones. Over top, Massey, good play for Vandell. What can Bob? Vandell gets smashed. Release. Massive shot on the winger. And they're struggling to keep hold of this one here, the London Wasps, but it comes back. Simpson has it. Just about the whole team is in that ruck. Massey goes wide for launch break. Well, there's no one home. Wade's not there. Where was Wade? He's made up with it with a horrible tackle. And he's going to see out the match in the bin. Possibly their most destructive winger, and he is out of here. Well, their most destructive player, full stop. If anyone was going to get a try for the Wasps, it was Christian Wade, who is now in the showers. You're ready to go home. Saracens will wrap this up. Farrell will try to wrap up with a penalty. It's on target, and that is it. That'll be all she wrote. Saracens, a dominant display. And the London Wasps for the pathetic display of attack. Full time goes 13 to nil. Saracens holding a tight advantage over the Wasps, who were relatively tame tonight. No sting in their back line at all. It was really a poor performance from the Londoners. They couldn't string it together. And while they had some good chances, they just couldn't finish it off. They go without any points, which is terribly disappointing. And for a side that had two wins before their first loss, it is quite remarkable at how they have come out today. 13-0, they go down to Saracens. And look at that Saracens scorecard. One of everything. One try to Ashton, which needs to be fair. That was the greatest piece of play you'll ever see. The beautiful kick from man of the match, Tompkins. Putting it in for Ashton, who just smothered the ball in the end goal. One of the best tries, and fully deserved too. That was really the winning of it, and seemed to have taken the stuffing out of the Wasps for the rest of the match. Farrell converted that. He added a penalty right on full time. But it was once again Tompkins, who added the drop goal with a nothing play. Nothing on for him, and he just slots the drop goal. No worries. Thanks for the three points. Come again. Tompkins, the outside centre, was very good. The trouble for the Wasps is they didn't get the ball back. They just had 22% for the whole match. They struggled to retain possession when they did have it. And, well, when you can't link up and put multiple phases together, you're really going to struggle to score points. And that's exactly what happened. Saracens, 78% of the ball. Territory fairly even. 58 to 42, but you need the ball to score points. Three high tackles really relieved the pressure when the Wasps managed to put it on to Saracens. And of course, the injury to Brett, uh, Barrett didn't seem to cost them too much when you have Tompkins, who was just 
playing a blinder of his life. The Wasps have had a lot more tackles as well, 53 to 37. That's a high number of tackles for one side. And that does wrap us up for today's match. The Wasps unable to put together some good form for the match today. They go down, but thank you still for the request, Matthew. And I hope you enjoyed the match, despite the poor result. And we'll be back soon. I'll be back soon with some more matches, one off order. Remember, if you want to put your request in, just leave it in the comments or any other places you can get in touch with me. And I will play out your match just like this one. Of course, there's plenty more to come, like always. And the hard work table as well, which is in construction to see just how good all these teams are going. Because there is an absolute pile and big plans ahead for the one off order series. So thanks for all the requests. And I'll see you all next time for plenty more one-off what if until then thanks for watching and take care